Hello and welcome to Getting Started with Netlify Edge Functions. In this tutorial, we're going to write a basic Hello World Edge function, set up a new project to serve static HTML template files, and write an Edge function to intercept a static HTML template and update it using geolocation data at the edge. And then we'll deploy the project to Netlify using the Netlify CLI. I'm your host, Salma Alam Naylor, and let's get started. Let's first check we have everything we need for this tutorial. Check you've got Node installed by running node dash dash version. You'll see that I'm using version 16.16.0 and at the time of writing this tutorial, this is the latest long-term support version. Next, you need a Netlify account. If you're new to Netlify, sign up for free at app.netlify.com slash sign up. Next, let's install the Netlify CLI. Head on over to your terminal and run the following command. npm install netlify-cli-g, where G stands for global installation on your machine. Next, run the Netlify login command to authenticate with Netlify and you're ready to roll. In this tutorial, we'll also be using the GitHub CLI to add our new project to GitHub, but you can add Git version control to your project however you like. Create a fresh project directory on your machine and name it Edge Tutorial. I like to do this in the terminal using make dir. CD into that directory and open it in your IDE of choice. I'm using VS Code. We're not using any front end frameworks today, so let's start by adding a simple index.html file. If you are using VS Code, you can type exclamation mark and press tab for a handy HTML boilerplate. Or if you don't have that shortcut, you can copy the index.html code from the repository linked in the description below. Add a level one heading just for fun and save the file. Next, back in your terminal at the root of your project, type Netlify dev to start the development server. The CLI will create a .netlify folder in your project directory, which you don't need to worry about, and your project is now running at localhost on port 8888. Next, onto the edge functions. Let's write a basic hello world edge function. At the root of your project, add a Netlify directory. Inside that, add an edge-functions directory. And inside the edge-functions directory, add a file named hello.js. Edge functions are very much like serverless functions. You can write them using JavaScript or TypeScript, but instead of using Node.js under the hood, they are powered by Dino, an open source runtime built on web standards. Today, we're going to write edge functions in JavaScript. Start by exporting a default async function. Edge functions take two parameters, request, which represents the incoming HTTP request, and context, which is a Netlify specific API and contains some pretty powerful features. Let's return a new HTTP response with the string, hello world from the edge. And let's set the content type header to text HTML. That's the edge function code. Now let's hook it up to the development environment. At the root of your project, add a netlify.toml file. This is a configuration file that specifies how Netlify builds and deploys your site, including redirects, branch settings, edge function routing, and more. Add an edge functions entry to the toml file declared using double brackets. Set the browser path for the function to run on slash hello and map that to the hello function in the edge functions directory. Stop and start the development server, navigate to slash hello, and look at that. Hello world from the edge. Next, let's configure the project to serve static HTML files from a public directory, so we can use an edge function to intercept and transform content in the next step. At the root of your project, create a public directory and move your index.html file into it. At the top of your netlify.toml file, Let's configure the project build options to serve content from the public directory by setting the build publish path to public. Stop and start the development server, navigate to your browser, and you should see the index.html you created earlier, which is now served from the public directory. Next, let's add a new static HTML file and name it hello-template.html. You can add whatever you like to this HTML template, but the most important thing is to add some placeholder content, which we're going to transform with an edge function. I want to add some geolocation data to this template, so I'm going to use the placeholder location underscore unknown. Navigate to slash hello template and see your new static HTML file served from the public directory, ready for transformation. 
Next, we're going to intercept a request to this page at the edge using a URL query parameter. Grab the geolocation data of the request and transform the HTTP response to include the city and country name. In the edge functions directory, add a new file. Name it transform-hello-template.js. In the Netlify TOML file, add an entry for the new edge function. The function we want to call is transform-hello-template, and we want to call it on the path hello-template. That's the HTML template we just set up before. Back in the edge function file, let's export a default async function, taking in the request and the context. We're going to transform the response of hello template if the query parameter method equals transform is included on the URL. First, let's grab the URL from the request. If we don't find method equals transform on the URL, we're going to return and exit out of the edge function early, which will serve the hello template with the placeholder as is. If we do find method equals transform on the URL, we're going to use context.next to grab the next request in the HTTP chain. In this case, it's our hello template file, and then we'll grab the text content of the page. We'll use a regex to search for the placeholder we added earlier in the text content. My placeholder is location unknown. And then we'll grab the requests location data from context.geo, getting the city and country.name. Next, replace the placeholder with the location data and return a new response containing the updated page. Next, navigate to hello-template with the method equals transform query parameter on the URL. And there you have it. The response of the template was intercepted by the edge function we just wrote, replacing the placeholder with real-time location data right on the edge. Finally, let's deploy this tutorial to Netlify using the Netlify CLI. First, add version control to the project. Head on over to your terminal and initialize a new Git repository with Git in it. Add a .git ignore file and add the .netlify directory. Back in your terminal, run git add dot to add all of your files and then git commit dash m initial commit or whatever commit message you'd like. I'm going to add my project to GitHub and I like to do this using the GitHub CLI. If you're using the GitHub CLI, run gh repo create and choose push an existing local repository to GitHub. Follow the instructions in the prompts and choose to push commits from the current branch to origin. You're now all set up with version control. It's time to deploy. At the root of your project, run Netlify init in your terminal and choose to create and configure a new site. Choose your team and pick a site name. I'll pick my-edge-tutorial. The CLI will ask for your build command. We're not using a framework, so that can stay blank. We're going to deploy to the public directory, and that's been pre-populated by the netlify.toml file. Even though we're not using traditional Netlify functions, press enter when it asks to confirm the Netlify functions folder. Wait a few seconds, and your site is deployed. In your terminal, run netlify open colon site to open your new site in your browser and share your new project with your friends. You can also run netlify open colon admin to view your new project in Netlify and view your edge function logs. Let's try out the logs. In hello.js at the top of the function, add context.log, calling hello.js edge function, add your file to git, commit and push it up, and Netlify will automatically deploy your changes. Navigate to your site slash hello, open up the edge function logs in Netlify, and there's the log line showing the message and the edge function the log was called in. To explore the repository for this tutorial, you can head on over to the code on GitHub and the link is in the description. And if you want to learn more about what's possible with Netlify Edge Functions, you can visit our Edge Functions example site where you can find interactive demos and code samples and deploy the whole site to your own Netlify account at the click of a button. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing what you build with Netlify Edge Functions.